everyone, I hope you are all well. So in this video I kind of wanted to talk about my minimalism journey or my journey towards minimalism. And not minimalism in an extreme sense, but minimalism just to kind of simplify my life. And so I started to realise that I actually really loved a lot of aspects about minimalism. And I started kind of looking at uh, minimalist blogs and minimalist travel and minimalist lifestyles, minimalist homes, just a minimalist interior design, minimalist architecture, so many things to do with minimalism, minimalist wild camping, like so many things. And I've just kind of been intrigued by it um, because I've always loved that clean, chic, you know, that's kind of, I've always loved like kind of simple design. Even now, I feel I'm, I don't consider myself a minimalist, but I'm kind of journeying towards it, especially from a mentality point of view, because I just feel like minimalism reaches much more than just your living room or your bedroom or your, um, your travel suitcase. It's also about your mentality towards things and stuff. Um, and that's kind of the journey in which I kind of wanted to share with you. And so I think at the start of my yeah, minimalism journey, minimalist journey, I started getting rid of things that I wasn't using or things that I hadn't used like in the past, you know, three to six months to possibly even a year. And I realized that I actually didn't miss that stuff that I could do without it. And while I was having clear outs, I realized that I had a lot more stuff than I actually thought. So a lot of stuff was kind of like tightly packed away or kind of put away in such a way that it doesn't look like it's a lot. But then when I started taking everything out, sorting through, I was like, oh my goodness, I have a lot of stuff, a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff. And taking, taking care of stuff is actually very time consuming, um, which is another aspect of Minimalism that I really like, you know, just kind of less stuff, less time lost, wasting on taking care of that stuff. And so I started valuing space a lot more. Um, I started to really, really be able to appreciate clean and clear surfaces and not just want to have an ornament on every single surface, have it cluttered with something. Like, I just like clear surfaces. There doesn't always have to be a candle on it all. It doesn't always have to be, candles are nice though. There doesn't always have to be like a book or something or a pen or just like things just scattered all over the place. I just like, I started to realize that I really just appreciate a nice clear surface. Can anybody relate to this? Anybody relate to this, um, to what I'm saying? Um, and I realized, um, or I started to kind of pay attention to the fact that I really, really, value experiences more than stuff and those are the things that I kind of want to collect um, and along those experiences you know I take photographs I I capture them in ways that are not hoarding instead of buying a souvenir I can just take a photo of it or I can just capture the moment capturing that moment is so much more important to me than like taking a souvenir and I think that's the reason why I love photography because it just helps to capture feelings in that moment without you having to physically carry something to remind you like an ornament or whatever. I only delete photos if like they're just like so blurry or it's just not a good photo and I have like a variety of others. I like to keep memories in the form of photos it could be digital it could be a physical photo though i haven't actually printed photos out in quite some time so yeah i do like to collect experiences and memories rather than just collecting things for example um, i was at the eiffel tower um, earlier this week and instead of me buying one of the key rings that they were selling which were super super cheap i could have got one I just thought, no, I have a photo to remind me of the Eiffel Tower. I don't need a key ring. I don't need, you know, to add more weight to my set of keys. Um, it's not really necessary to have a photo. And I think another reason why minimalism is significant for me is because it has helped me realize how important travel is 
and you can't really travel with like loads and loads of luggage say for example if you wanted to move country one day and you just had like a whole bunch of stuff you would then have that additional responsibility of you know either selling all your stuff or you know putting it in storage which would then cost extra money and so yeah i think in that sense minimalism does help and there are different levels of minimalism you don't have to be extreme an extreme minimalism an extreme minimalist to be a minimalist um it's more of a mindset and a mentality i mean different lifestyles and different situations will of course dictate how you live out your life but um, I think it's more of a mindset and a principle rather than a strict set of rules. One another great thing about minimalism is that it kind of helps you stay on track and not get caught up in the world of consumerism having to buy the latest this, the latest that I've realized that I appreciate the clothes, the shoes, the things that I have now because I'm not so caught up in the world of buying, 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 getting, 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 accumulating, accumulating, accumulating. And I look at what I have and I'm like, wow, I love the fact that I've worn that 20, 30 times. I love the fact that I always wear that. I love the fact that I really cherish this top or I love the fact that I really cherish that pair of shoes or or whatever it is. It's not a bad thing to repeat wearing your clothes. I know that um, for some people who are like into fashion or into um, like blogging, YouTube and stuff, you feel as if you know you cannot repeat a top or whatever. It's just you shouldn't feel that way. It's your item of clothing, it's something that you own and you should be able to wear it however many times you want. I really like the fact that minimalism has taught me to value everything that I have and not just keep things just for the sake of it. A lot of the time when you don't think about the things that you already have, then it becomes a case of I need this, I need this, I need this and your wants almost become a need and when they're not really needs they're actually just wants and I think the more things you accumulate just like I mentioned before the more time you will be spending on taking care of those things and so I realized it's still possible to be versatile with fashion uh, despite being a minimalist now I'm not an extreme minimalist but I do appreciate like so much about the characteristics of minimalism and yeah, I definitely see it as possible to be versatile, stylish and all the rest with a minimalism, sorry, with a minimalist uh, capsule wardrobe and those are the kind of things I've been looking at on Pinterest, on YouTube, like checking out people's caps capsule, 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 checking out people's capsule wardrobes and um, their style, how they do things. I know. There was one person I watched, I can't remember her name, but she only wears black. I don't think I'm going to be doing that, but um, it's kind of cool. It's kind of cool to just see people's, and to just see and to hear people's um, perspectives on, on um, the reasons why they do things. For example, just wearing black. That's obviously a matter of choice. But um, yeah, it's possible to be stylish. And so another thing I realized along this journey or um, discovery, minimalism discovery, is that things don't make you happy. It's not about accumulating, accumulating. Um, it's actually far better to look inwards and to see what you already have and be able to appreciate that. Um, and so yeah, that's just me sharing a little bit about my kind of minimalism journey, mentality, discovery, and um, maybe you've gotten something from it. Please do share your minimalism experiences or why you would like to be a minimalist or why you would not like to be a minimalist or, or maybe how you have learned from uh, minimalist characteristics because I'd love to hear it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon.